1990 MG Montego. This is a 2-litre EFI car, but it has a factory fitted, as you can see, turbo body kit on it. So that's the front bumper, arches, side skirts, rear arches, rear bumper, spoiler, and a couple of other little bits and bobs. Sets it way apart from the standard Montego. It's finished in British Racing Green. Really looks the part. We'll go around the bodywork, but there really isn't a lot to know. If we start on this front corner, there's no scuffs at all there. Bumper sits properly. No marks or anything really to point out. We'll just sort of go down the driver's side. Nice clean front arch. All around the indicator's clean. There's, there's nothing at all that's sort of issue-wise there. Wheels are really good. Going down this side, as you can see, the car's super straight. There's no dings or dents at all in it. Body kit fits properly, really nice. It's not got any sags, it's not wavy or anything like that. There's no marks at all to note on this car. Glass is really clear, just what you want to see. Even this bit with the trim down here, which quite often can bubble up. This rear arch again, really nice, no rust there at all on that rear quarter. Really, really deep paintwork, it's lovely. On the rear, the lights and the centre section are all nice and clean, all one colour. No cracks or dents or scratches in it. The lower part of the bumper is really nice. This spoiler is really cool, and Montego badge on there. See under that light, the colour, the colour of the paper is really good. And again, there's no, there's no marks at all to know. Even the wheels are like brand new. Arch is nice, it's got a bit of dust on there, but other than that, can't really take any points off for dust. That's our fault more than anything. I wish I could sort of point anything out, but other than saying it's nice, I can't really tell you much more than that. If we're going to be really picky, this red trim at the very edge is lifting ever so slightly. So that just wants a little bit trimming off it and fitting back properly. Front bumper and bonnet are the same, super clean. Nice and straight. No marks, no swirls, nothing to note at all. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for bodywork I think is fair. Have a look at the interior. So you've got like a half leather door card with a cloth with a red insert, all nice and clean. It does still have the reg number, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. If I've got my hand behind it. Reg number on all the windows, the correct one. Dash top's nice, there's no marks on that. No cracks or damage. Same with the binnacle, it's showing 42,000 miles, but again, we'll, we'll detail all the paperwork we've got for it in the description, so best off reading that. The seat has a tiny little bit of Sag from that, just from people getting in and out, but it's not worn. Good steam clean and actually tighten that right up. Steering wheel shows no sign of wear. Again, another car without looking at the paperwork, you can tell the miles are correct. Rear door, rear door card, same sort of story, really clean. The back of the seat's nice. Whole rear bench is very clean and tidy. There's no funny smells, the headlining's sitting properly. No sags at all on that. Have a look at the passenger side. Same again. Clean door card, clean seats, clean carpet. Might be quicker if I just told you stuff that wasn't clean, but kind of isn't anything really. Got your door plaque down there. All super clean on there. It does have a JVC head unit fitted in it. Even the original mat's still there from the top of that. They are, there's something to pick out. There's a little bit of rubbish in the, in the, it's in the glove box. That's how picky we're having to be. Get the key and have a look in the boot. In fact, we won't. We'll pull that, have a look in the boot. There we go. Springs and struts must be good because that sprang straight up on that switch. Underside of the bonnet, super clean. Same with the boot shut itself. Really, really nice. It's got the wooden panel still in there. And again, that's like brand new. Spare wheel in there as well. 
under the bonnet. Same sort of story as everywhere else, super clean, really tidy. Somebody's kept this car very clean over the years. And I guess when they polish the outside, they polish the inside as well, which is nice. So that's that two litre EFI. Even the paint still on the block's good. Inner wings is lovely. Bulkhead, all really nice. Start it up, have a listen to it. No smoke at all from that. I have driven it briefly down the road, maybe two or three miles, something like that. It drove lovely. Got up to temperature and all that sort of stuff. Nice and tight, just what you expect for the mileage and the, and the condition of the rest of the car. It's also, it came to us originally on a trailer, so I put my head underneath it. It is as clean on the top as it is underneath. Really, really nice, really clean, very rare. Factory turbo body kitted Montego.